Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And it's Saturday morning and it's 6 a.m. And you're probably drinking your coffee. But what are you doing for dinner tonight? Well, you don't have a smoker. You don't have a grill. I'm going to show you in this video how to make the best fall off the bone ribs in your oven in four hours. That's right. I'm doing it to all of you at six in the morning. So sit back, your mouth's gonna water, and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. All right, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we are making ribs in the oven. Now, last night, what I do is I put a little liquid smoke on here. If you do not have a smoker, this is a great way to do this. Use liquid smoke. I use a little bit of this uh, KC butt so uh, spice. Um, this stuff is really, really good. You can get that online on Amazon. And you take your ribs. Okay. Now, I coat both sides with this, and then put them on a tray, cover them, and let them set for 24 hours overnight. Then I pull them out an hour beforehand. These have been sitting out for almost an hour now. I pull them out, put them on a different tray there with a little bit of the uh, Reynolds non-stick so you don't have to worry about it. Adjust the middle rack up one, so that you can put a thing of water down there so you keep moisture in. We take, we slide those in there. You come up to your timer, one hour. And I'll see you in an hour. Okay, so when your first hour is up, you open up. Looking at the goodness. And we're only one hour into a four hour process. And I forgot to tell you before, you set your oven at 270. So, you do the bone side up first. Now we have to flip it over. Flip that bad boy right over. Oh yeah. There we go. Now goes back in the oven. For another hour. Bone side down. So set your timer. 60 minutes. I'll see you guys back in an hour. All right, so now we're to the most important phase of doing the ribs. So it's been two hours. You take those bad boys out. Boy, I wish we had smell vision They smell so good. All right, this is the tricky part. We need to get that onto this big piece of aluminum foil upside down so the bones are facing up. And you can see how the bones right here, they're all starting to pull away. She's a cooking good. Take this. Right over here. Now, once you get them on there, for a rack this size, you, you want to use a whole stick of butter because there's a lot of meat. If it was just baby back ribs where it's real thin, you could do a half a stick. And you just place these right in here. Just want to cover the whole thing. You 
want to be kind of careful with this since you're doing it in the oven because you don't want it to leak anywhere. So you want to fold this up. If you want the bones to puncture a hole. Now we're going to place them, actually just to be on the safe side, we're going to grab another cookie sheet and put those on there. So if it does leak at all, it'll go on here and not in the oven. We're going to reuse this pan after this step. Now we're going to put this back in the oven for another hour. Set our timer. And I'll see you all in an hour. All right, now we're at hour three. We just took these out of the oven. They've been in there for an hour with the butter. We open these bad boys up. Ooh, look at that. And the camera lady today would be my lovely wife, Donna. And this is the ribs. Now look at how all these are all pulling back. You can tell these bad boys are cooking really, really good. Now what we want to do is, we want to take these out of here. That's all that butter. Slide this over so you don't make a mess and get yelled at. I do them bone side up first. Let me grab my barbecue sauce. Now the best barbecue sauce that I have found that I like is Sonny's Barbecue Sauce. You can order it online if you don't live in the South and you don't have a Sonny's Barbecue by you. Um, you can order it and you can get it right online, have it delivered right to your front door. And this stuff is really good. They've had, they got this recipe down pat. You just slather on this barbecue sauce. Get it all over everything. Just pour it on. Now definitely if you're doing it on the grill or a smoker or something like that, they do have more of a smoky flavor. Um, but these do come out really well if you don't have a smoker or a grill. You're able to do these things right in your oven and you still get the same great results and great flavor. Mm -mm -mm. So that is it. Now we put these in for 30 minutes and we leave the temperature set at 270 degrees. And we put these bad boys in and then we're going to pull them out in 30 and flip them over for the final time. And I'll catch you all. Okay, folks, we're almost down to our last 30 minutes. We just have to pull these bad boys out. Look at that. Those things are just pulling right off the bones. Try to flip these over without these breaking. Because they just want to fall apart on us. See, so look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We're 30 minutes away. Actually, a little bit longer than that. Because once they come out. I make sure I get down around these bones really good. Now at this point, we're just going to pour it all on.
I'm telling you people, you got to try this Sunny's barbecue sauce. It is just absolutely delicious. Yep, we're on our, getting on our last half hour. There we go. <clears throat> now we just throw them back in the oven for 30 more minutes. You have to wait 30 more minutes to get to the, it's actually 45, because we have to let them set for 15 after they come out. See you all in 30 minutes. Welcome back. Cooking time is done. Been cooking for four hours. So we take a couple of these bad boys out. Ooh la la. Look at those. Can I cover them cover with a piece of aluminum foil? Lightly. And set a timer for 15 minutes. And that, boys and girls, is how you do ribs in the oven. Delicious.